Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, digital learning coach at Gravely Hill Middle School. This is a screencast about how digital breakouts work. I'm using the digital breakout template that I made in the new Google Sites, great tool for making these digital breakouts. And we're gonna go through this site and show you how a digital breakout works. So if you look here, what I'm clicking right here is the text that is a scenario. This is where you write the scenario, the story of the breakout. Now, if you look at the first link, this is just here to help you create your own breakout. It's an example I made. This one is about Langston Hughes. It's actually in the old Google Sites, but people really like the scenario I wrote for that, so that's why I linked to that. It's not part of this as an actual breakout. Here I have links to ways you can use Google My Maps and Google Sheets and digital breakouts. Justin Burke Bickler came up with an awesome way of doing it with Google Sheets. And then here, this is a Google Drive folder. What this is meant for is for you to look at these files and then any one of them you'd like to use yourself, you right click on it and you make a copy right there. You make a copy. So do that for yourself if you want to make them. Okay. I have a link to Canva, which is what I use for a lot of these images that I use that I create. Um, in new Google sites, you want to do 280 pixels high, 767 wide for your for this image right here. And there's some video tutorials from Justin and Mari Venturino, who are innovators, the ones who create, came up with digital breakout. Okay, let's look at how it works. The way it works is this. If a student cracks all of these codes, you see these different locks here, that's it. They've won. That's all it is. So I put one here. This one here is 54321. I give it away. 543. And notice while it's still locked, you get an error message. And notice it says type clues and hints here. Clues and hints go there. So let me, first of all, let me get that correct. Notice the error message went away. When all the error messages go away, that's it. You click next and you've won. That's the whole thing. That's digital breakout right there. Now, here's a four letter lock and I will try something I know does not work. And notice I get an enigmatic hint. So this is where you get hints about what the locks might be, or it could just say still locked, either or. Let's go through this site and see where we get our hints. We get our hints from anything that is linked in the site. Not in here for now because this is the template, but here I go to the embedded PDF and actually in the new Google Forms, it wants you to stay here because you've got that lock done. So I'll right click on that and open in a new tab and then I can do that in that new tab. Here I embedded a PDF and what you see here is there's all this text and distractions but you look through this and you're going to get some clues that will give you one of the locks. Now, going back to the locks, do I give you the locks in all in the same order? No, they could, that could have been the last lock, the second to last lock. Some breakouts are made where they do go lock by lock and they'll label these pages lock one, lock two. It's really what you want to do. It's obviously a lot easier if you say this page is lock one and that page is lock two, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so we were in that embedded PDF we see that there's a lot of hints there that students would have to go through. In Google Forms quiz mode, this is what I like to do. I give a little quiz. And so let me answer this question correctly. And so who's on the far left of the political spectrum? The answer is Stalin. I hit submit. Then if I view my score, and of course I know no one reads this text, right? We all blow by it. But that's something, good way to train your kids to read the directions is hide a little nugget there or if they click view their score, they're gonna get a little hint that's going to give them one of the locks. Let's go to the Google Slides page. So in here, I embedded a Google Slides, and if you read through the Google Slides, you're going to get one hint that will help you with one of the locks. One last one, YouTube and Google Forms. So I have a video here of myself giving a little lesson, and that's restricted. Oh no, but anyway, I'm at my school. Um, it actually is open, but I'm signed in with my personal Gmail. Anyway, as I go through here, and this honestly is not the most innovative. You can do this different ways, but what I have it set to is each letter of the correct answers is then the four letter lock. And that's it. And that's how digital breakouts work. You can make them any which way, but if you're playing, that's how it works is you look at everything that you can link to. And you go there and you try to figure out clues based on different activities. If you have any questions about this at all, I'm happy to talk to you about it. Either comment below or tweet me at EdTechTom. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. 
Have a great day.